Okay, this video is going to take you take us through problem number three. I'll also provide a link to this Desmos graph and you can enable problem one and disable problem three and click the down arrow to see what's involved in solving problem one and similarly for problem two. Okay, so for problem number three, here's the graph y equals 1 over x is the reciprocal function we're only looking for the right branch where x is greater than zero uh, the blue line is the graph of y equals x and this green line is y equals 1 fourth x and what we have to do is break this apart into two separate definite integrals the area of this region right here, uh, you can picture a typical rectangle looking something like that. And the height of that rectangle is going to be the y-coordinate at the top. Take away the y-coordinate at the bottom. The y-coordinate at the top, of course, is x. The y-coordinate at the bottom is 1 fourth x. So there's the definite integral for this first region. The second region, we have to take the y-coordinate at the top, which is 1 over x, and subtract the y-coordinate at the bottom to get the height of the rectangle. So there's the height of the rectangle, taking the definite integral from 1 to 2. By the way, to find these points of intersection, you have to set up a system of two equations so for example to find this point when does x equal 1 over x and that's when x squared equals 1 or x equals plus or minus 1 but we're only interested in uh, where x is greater than 0 so that's the point 1 1 is that first point of intersection okay now looks like that's the answer how do we get that? Well, uh, I simplified that first definite integral to 3 fourths x. And now we're going to evaluate. If you picture moving this 3 fourths out front and taking the antiderivative of x, you get 1 half x squared. Evaluated from 0 to 1. Uh, this is a 3 eighths. Put 1 in for x, you get 3 eighths times 1 and put 0 in for x. So you just get that first definite integral as a value of 3 eighths. The antiderivative of 1 over x is ln of x, evaluated from 1 to 2. And then the antiderivative of this x, again, is 1 half x squared. <clears throat> the idea is that this last integral becomes a minus 3 eighths. We've got this plus 3 eighths out here, so those two terms combine to 0. And ln of 1 is 0. So the only term that remains from all that is ln of 2. Okay, there you go. hope that uh, gave you some ideas. And uh, I'll provide the link to the Desmos graph. And you can take a look at problems 1 and 2. If you have any questions, post a comment.